Good morning, my people, my people, my people. My name is Chief Strongblood, St. Vincent and the Grenadines' favorite and most hated son, the diaspora machismo. My people, today's topic, men contracting the diseases of the human. Men contracting the diseases of the human. This is a very important message, especially for all of those who are out there who are experiencing ailments. This is a message especially for you. O oh, great supreme and sovereign most high, the creator of heaven and earth, the creator of the very existence of existence and everything that dwells therein. Most high, you are awesome, you are mighty, you are perfect, you are omnipotent, omniscient, you are omnipresent. You are the King of Kings, you are the Lord of Lords, you are the God of Gods. There is none like you. You are the one who knows the past, you know the present, you know the future, and you dwell in the past, the present, and the future simultaneously, Most High. Yahweh, send your Holy Spirit right here to direct my thoughts onto the thoughts of righteousness. Only for your name's sake. Let your Holy Spirit. Spirit, put only the things you have placed upon my heart, upon my lips. Let your Holy Spirit warn off all who will try to use demonic, human, and other forces to interfere with my thoughts, to interfere with my mind, to interfere with my memory. All who will try to use demonic, human, and other forces to put words in my mouth that are not in my vocabulary. All who will try to use demonic and other forces to cause me to stumble over words I am familiar with. Yahweh, let your Holy Spirit protect me from the demonic and the other forces that will be used by the wicked and the evil of this earth. Most High, send your holy angels right here to put up a hedge of protection around this place to protect me from harm and danger and even the minor inconveniences that will seek to lend distraction. Mosai, you are an awesome God. There is none like you. There have never been any like you and there will never be any like you. Father, I ask all of these blessings of you, of no one else, for there is no one else who can provide for me what I am requesting. You are the only one who is able and is willing to do it for me. In Yahushua's name, I say, let it be done. My people, men contracting the disease of the human. My people, the humans don't want me to speak about this topic. They have sent their people here to lend distraction. They have sent members of the Caucasus community to lend distraction and now that I started <laughs> the human has caused their people to start up their blowing and their cutting machine to hope that their inch apparatus of grooming of farming will, pro pro will produce enough noise to distract me and to hamper the quality of this video why do you think? Because they know that this is a message that they don't want the children of Israel and man in general to hear. Let us go to our scripture reading. Our scripture reading is Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 15. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 15. It says, The Lord will keep you free from every disease. He will not inflict upon you the horrible diseases you knew in Egypt, but he will inflict them upon all who hates you. My people, this is the word of the Most High, and these are the words that was uttered by Moses to the children of Israel. These words that were spoken by Moses was given directly 
from the father of creation, the one who says that the Israelites are the apple of his eyes and those who touches the Israelites touches the apple of his eyes. Most my people, the most I have said, if we, his children, if man is faithful to him, that he will withhold all diseases from us, my people. And those diseases will be given to those people who hates us, especially the Israelites. My people. Some time ago, in an effort for the Caucasians to prove that they were better than everyone else and everyone of color. They declared that the black man is three-fifth percent human. It's three-fifth human. They said the black man is three-fifth human. And the black community, especially in America, got up in arms and they call the Caucasians racist for declaring that the black man is free for human. What the black man did not understand is that he is not human. The black man did not understand and did not realize that he is not human. He is not human, period. He is not one fifth, two fifth, three fifth, four fifth, or a whole human. The black man is not human at all. Remember, the word human is a two syllable words. It is made up of two distinct words. Hue, the appearance, and man, that which was created by God. So the word human means he who looks or have the hue of man, but is not man. My people, in this, in this series, we discuss the topic, men, gods, and devils, the primary inhabitants of the earth. My people, we identify man as is outlined in Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 and verse 27, when Yahweh, the creator of heaven and earth, said to his son Yahweh, let us make man in our image and in our likeness. And in verse 27 it says, God created man in his image and his likeness. We also went over to Genesis chapter 25 and we discovered that when Isaac's wife, Rebecca, got pregnant, her pregnant was such a tumultuous pregnancy that she went to the Most High and inquired of the Most High and the Most High said to her, two nation is in your womb. My people, it is impossible for a woman to be pregnant but with two different progenitor. My people, what has happened here? The devil who tried to abort the most high plan planted his seed in Rebecca's womb. And the objective of the devil's seed, Esau, was to destroy Jacob before he was born. And if he failed to destroy Jacob before he was born, he was supposed to ensure that he born first to get the promise or the inheritance that Isaac had to give to him. My people, we know that Rebecca was only a surrogate because when we go to Genesis chapter 3 verse 15, it says, I will put enmity between you and the woman. Your most, the most high was speaking to the devil. He says, I will put animosity between you, the devil, and the woman who you deceived. And I will put animosity between your seed and her seed. My people, if Rebecca was not a surrogate and the devil was responsible for fertilizing one of Rebecca's egg, then 
the prophecy of the Most High, as was is outlined in Genesis 3.15, would not have come to pass. Because it would have been Rebecca's seed would have been Esau, and Rebecca's seed would have been Jacob. So this prophecy would have been wrong. So because the Most High is never wrong, we know that Rebecca was only a surrogate for Esau. She only carried him. She, he had no biological or physiological connection to him except for being carried in her womb. My people, we know that according to Revelation chapter 12, Satan, the dragon, the serpent, the old devil and his angels was cast out of heaven and he was cast to the earth. That is why the Most High said in Revelation chapter 12, Woe be unto the inhabitants of the earth, for the devil had been cast down, having great wrath, because he knew he has but a short time. So the devil is not from here. The devil is an alien to earth. And the devil's seeds are also an alien to earth. My people, remember? Remember, Isa is the progenitor of the Caucasus community, of the Caucasian community. Isa is the father of the Edomites. The Encyclopedia Britannica, under the topic Jerusalem, subtopic Romans rule, said that Herod, the Roman king, ruled over Israel when Yahweh, aka Jesus Christ, was alive was an Edomite. The encyclopedia, the, the, the publication of the Caucasian, Chabad or Chabad.org says that Issa is the progenitor of the Roman and we know that Rome is a city in Italy. Therefore, all Romans, all Italians, as well as all Romans are Edomites. And since Issa had 11 jokes and the, the Chabad Identify as Mag identified Magdiel, one of the progenitor, one of the um, the dukes of Issa as the progenitor of the Italians. And Issa had eleven dukes. You have to conclude that the other ten dukes were responsible for colonizing all of Europe. My people, these are the same people who the Mosai says he will hate and he will hate them forever. Right? My people, because Satan and the devils are alien to this world, living on earth is uncomfortable even for the devil and his angels. My people, listen to this. Luke, 11, 24, verse 26. Luke chapter 11, verse 24 to 26. When an unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walked through dry places seeking rest, but find none. He said, I will return to the house from whence I was cast out. And he come to the, and meet it all swept and garnished. He go and he find seven spirit more wicked than himself. And they go and dwell therein. My people, what this is saying is because the earth is uncomfortable for the devils, the demons and the evil spirit, they have to find a place where they can find comfort and rest. And the place they can find comfort and rest is in the body of a man. That is why they possess men. My people, that is why they possess men. Right? So they find rest and comfort in man. They cannot function outside of the human body. It is, this, it is uncomfortable for them to function outside of the human body. My people, so are the seeds of the devil, the Caucasians. They are an alien species to art. They are an alien species to art. That is why they find it hard to function on earth 
in Earth's environment. Listen to me, people. The sun blinds them. I was in Santa Monica, and I was reading from a notepad, a white notepad. A Caucasian man came up to me. In his effort to be helpful, he says, if you read in the sun, and the sun will like reflect off of your white paper, it's going to blind you. You will not be able to see. My people, this is a falsehood. Of course, the reflection of the sun from the white paper is going to make it difficult for you to read. But the difficulty is only temporary. It cannot blind you. But it will blind the Caucasians. My people, the sunlight gave them skin cancer. They call it melanoma. Melanomia. Skin cancer. My people, if they are out in the sun too much, they are burnt. My people, that is why in California, they had a smuggling problem. As the smuggling problem was an intentional problem to, prove, to protect the devils that walk around in California from the sunlight. Remember, the sunlight don't bother any other nation on earth. Look at the Arabs. They are as pale as the Caucasians, but the sunlight don't bother them. That is why the Caucasians, when they conquered that part of the world, they run away from it because it was uncomfortable for them to live in that area. So they created a smoking problem in California. My people, they realize that even smog make they give them a little comfort. It provide them with another problem. It, it, it had an impact on their health, so they had to get rid of the smoking problem. Now what they do, every summer, they intentionally light those fires to create fire, um, forest fires. People, they intentionally light those forests to create forest fire because the big thick smoke, the particles from the smoke and the ashes creates a barrier between the sun and the earth in the same way it happens when they have a volcanic eruption. My people, they practice cloud seeding, spraying, spraying chemical in the air via jets that form into cloud to block out the light of the sun. My people, they are aliens. They don't belong here. The natural environment makes them sick and vulnerable. And because it makes them sick and vulnerable, they start doing all in their power to cause man to get sick and vulnerable and they attribute it they attribute their sickness not to the natural environment but to the same thing that affected man my people we know the corkies are the human and they are vulnerable to this earth that is why they started the smog problem that is why they created all these forest fire so that they can block out the, the sunlight. The sun gives them this comfort. That is why they cause they started cloud seeding. My people, the diseases of the Caucasians manifest themselves because they are in an environment where they don't belong. And to put it nicely, the Caucasians does not have a home of their own. There is no place in this universe that they can find where they belong. Not in the earth, not in the earth solar system. In the entire existence of existence, they cannot find a home. My people, because they are a, a nation without a home, they seek to make every nation a nation of the home. They try to dispossess every nation. And we see it in the history of the Caucasians. My people, cancer is a disease of the Caucasians. 
not because it is the disease of, of people, but because the Caucasians are in an environment they don't belong. And this environment caused them to develop cancer of the skin and cancer of the internal organs, even cancer of the blood. My people, organ failure is also a disease of the Caucasians, not because it is a disease of people, but because the natural environment of the earth affects these aliens different than it affects us. It causes the organs to fail. My people, high blood pressure, low blood pressure, and diabetes are all diseases of the Caucasians. Not because they are diseases that affect man, but because the Caucasians inhabit a place that they are alien to. And the natural environment cause these things to happen to them. My people, heart attack and heart failure are diseases of the Caucasians. Not because they are a disease that people experience, but because the Caucasians are in an environment that is alien to them and the natural environment get them ill with all of these diseases. My people, let me tell you why. A man cannot have a heart attack. A heart attack is a cramping or the muff of the muscle. We get cramps in our calves and in our thighs and in other muscle parts that are exhausted. The scientist says they cannot account for what causes a muscle to cramp and they give a whole heap of reason why muscles cramp. I am going to tell you why a muscle of a man cramps and cause him such discomfort. It is because of a buildup of lactic acid within the muscle tissues and fibers. The lactic acids cause the muscle fiber and tissue to react in a manner where it contracts and it is unable to relax itself. They say they don't know. I am telling you, in the next 20 years, they will have the research. And the research is going to say that I, Chief Strongblood, is correct when he says that muscle cramps is produced by a, by a saturation of the muscle tissues and fibers with lactic acid. My people, here is why you cannot have a heart attack. The, the heart muscle of man do not produce lactic acid. And if lactic acid passes through it, it is it passed through the heart to be pushed through, to be emitted from the body. So if lactic acid go to the heart, it is it is in transit to be pushed out of the body. The same how every thing that you have in your system, every chemical that you have in your system goes through the heart, but it does not go into the muscle fiber of the heart. My people, you cannot have a heart attack because the heart does not produce lactic acid. I can tell you this for sure because I have experienced several heart attacks and I know that a heart attack cannot kill me because the muscle tissue and fiber cannot freeze in the same way your calf and thigh muscle freezes when they are saturated with lactic acid because your heart muscle don't generate lactic acid my people so how is it possible for a man to suffer from the diseases of the human? My people, it is twofold. 
it is twofold. What the human have, have done? So they have monopolized food production in every aspect of it. And where a country is producing food to feed itself, what the human did, the Caucasian did, they start producing those food and they ship them to those countries at a loss because it is not in their interest to make a profit. It is in their interest to put the local food manufacturers out of business. They did it in Jamaica with milk and vegetables, put the milk farmers out of business and put the vegetable farmers out of business. They do it, they're doing it in the Caribbean. My people, how is it possible? For milk that is produced by cow in the United States, lettuce, carrots, and tomatoes that was produced by farmers in the United States that has the highest labor cost of any country of the world. How can they produce lettuce, milk, and other food products at a cheaper rate than the Jamaican farmers can, than the Vincentians farmers can, than the Grenadian farmers can? Remember, they are sending the production of their products to China because of China's cheap labor. Remember the labor cost in Jamaica is far cheaper than that of the, the labor cost in the United States. Why? Because the Jamaican dollar is worth nothing when it's compared to the American dollar. The EC dollar is worth nothing when it is compared to the American dollar. The yen is worth nothing when it is compared to the American dollar. So how is it possible for the American to produce milk Ocros, carrots, and other farm products in America and sell them in places like St. Vincent and Jamaica and the Caribbean at a much cheaper price than what is produced in the Caribbean. Impossible. They are selling these things to our country at a loss so that they can have the monopoly over our food product. And they use silly governments like the Ralph Gonsas government in St. Vincent and the Grenadines to utilize all of the arable land for construction. And there will come a time when countries like St. Vincent, Jamaica, and other countries that had fertile land will be unable to produce food to feed themselves. Why? Because the American government and the white governments would have encouraged them to do construction on their arable land. My people, this is just a fact. So what happens when the Caucasian company produce food? They put what is called carcinogens in their food. Carcinogen is poison that cause cancer and other diseases that are foreign to men. My people, that is why there are so many instances of kidney failure in the black community in America. 35% of all kidney failures in America is in the black community. Remember, the black community in America only represents 13% of the entire general population. How can 13% of a population be responsible for 35% of kidney failures in this country is because the food that is shipped and sold within the black community are different than the food that is sold in the white community. In the black community you find food um, stores like Dollar Tree, 99 cent stores. Why? Because these are the stores that sell those product, food products that are laced with carcinogens, that are laced with poison that will give you cancer, stop your organs from working, give you high blood pressure, 
and diabetes, organ failure, heart attack. My people, it is a big plan to destroy man or to bring man on par with the Caucasians. Remember they say that the black people are three-fifth percent human. That means they are superior to us. How can the superior race suffer from all of these diseases and the black race don't suffer from it? My people, cancer, heart attack, diabetes, and all of these things are new diseases to black people, to man. But guess what? Our bodies are so designed to fight off these diseases unlike the Caucasian's body. They cannot fight off these diseases. Why? Because they are in an environment where they don't belong. And the natural environment affects their ability to function. It affects their ability to survive here without these complications. My people. So why are so many people dying from cancer? And heart attack and diabetes and kidney failure and liver failure. My people, they have to introduce a second element. Remember, in the scripture reading, we learn that the most I have promised that if we are faithful, He is going to protect us from diseases. This is regular disease that are known to man. Like swollen foot if you don't lie down and sleep and so forth and so forth. Regular diseases that are known to man. Not the diseases of the Caucasians. My people, if we are faithful, the Mosai is going to protect us from the diseases that affects man. Remember, cancer don't affect man naturally. Cancer is an imposed disease. It don't affect man naturally. So how are they going to get you infected with cancer and all of these things if the, if the body of man is capable of fighting them off and preventing you from becoming ill with these things? My people, I tell you, they have to implement a second element. They have to make you a reprobate. My people, that is why they are so busy encouraging man into homosexuality. Because they have to make you a reprobate for you to become cancer, ill and die from cancer. They have to make you a reprobate because this is only when you are a reprobate your body is confused and it is unable to function in the manner in which the Most High make it to function. So they, in, they encourage you into homosexuality. When you participate into homosexuality, you confuse the psyche and in turn confuse the body because now the body is being used in a manner and in a fashion it was not designed to be used. They encourage our women into abortion. They traumatize the body. They do something to the body that is not normal. The body cannot account for the loss of the life that it was producing. It traumatizes the body and it throws the, the woman's body out of whack. My people, they induce us into bestiality. And when that happens, it also throws the woman, the people's body out of whack. My people, another thing. Another thing that they do. They rape you. And rape is the most dangerous offense you can impose upon another person. It messes up your body. So now that you are a reprobate, now that your body is functioning out of whack, it is not functioning in harmony in which it was created. The carcinogens that they put into the food 
can now affect you. Your immune system is out of whack. It don't function, my people. They put arsenic in the food. We know arsenic is a deadly poison. They put fluoride in toothpaste. Do you know that there's a warning on the toothpaste cover that says if swallow, contract, contact your center for poison control? Yes, that warning is on the toothpaste cover. They put chlorine in water and they know that chlorine is a poison. My people, for years we have been drinking chlorinated water. But we have not died. Why? We have not gotten cancer. Why? Because our body is capable of processing the chlorine and break it down and use what it can use and expel what it cannot use. My people, that is why man is now being affected by the diseases of the human by the diseases of the Caucasians. My people, this is the whole truth. Nothing but the truth. They try to stop this message from coming. They try to use Caucasians to intimidate me. I will not be intimidated by them. As soon as I start, the gardeners start turn on their, their machine. They start because they were hoping that the noise from their machine will affect the quality of the broadcast, but it wouldn't. My people, if it did, I would just come and do it again. My people, let us go to the most and thank him for this bit of information. So stay away from homosexuality. Stay away from bestiality. Don't have an abortion. And if you're raped, out your rapist. This has been my message for quite a while. And I hope that you are paying attention. Because in doing this, you are setting yourself up to suffer from the diseases of the Caucasians and to die from those diseases. Oh, sovereign most high. Let your Holy Spirit go through my words. And let your Holy Spirit learn clarity where I would have learned confusion. In Yahushua's name I say, let it be done. I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'm out.